Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel, or welcome to, if you were brand new, I'm so glad that you're here. It's getting a little dark, but I wanted to show you guys how you can grow um, food for your chickens um, very easily, um, and it's not going to be supplementing all of their feed, but a good majority, and if they are cooped up without access to free ranging, this might just be a good alternative for you. I want to start this by saying I do live in a neighborhood um, without an HOA, so it's a little bit more lax for me. Um, we do have one of the larger pieces of land. Um, we also don't spray anything on our grass or anything like that, but that kind of just gave it away. Uh, to use grass in or for your chicken's feed to supplement it. Um, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm filling up a big bucket of grass right now. My dad just cut the grass, so then I'll go through raking up a bunch of this. And yeah, really just... Um, using what I can, um, when I can, how I can, um, all of that um, definitely helps to supplement feed. Um, I'm throwing all of this in there at night, and tomorrow I have to be up incredibly early, so I'm not going to be able to feed them tomorrow morning. They're going to have feed on it, um, make sure of that tonight. But... This is going to supplement most of their feed for tomorrow anyways. So, it's not really that big of a deal for me because I can go through and rake up some stuff the night before, especially when we let the grass get a little too long, and we can easily have chicken feed for the next day. Um, now, it's not feed. It's not going to be a bunch of calcium or anything they need. So, they would still need a calcium supplement. Um, they do make just straight calcium bags or bags of calcium. Um, so I would implore you to look at that if this is something that you're doing. If they're free-ranging also and you haven't been getting as many eggs, um, they might have either started laying somewhere or they're just not getting enough calcium um, in their diet. So, yeah, that's one thing that you can do um, going through, getting that. Um, a bunch more chicken health tips and chicken tips coming your way very, very shortly. So thank you guys for watching um, this part of the vi this video. And... I hope to be sharing more videos, short videos like this, um, just how you can keep your chickens um, well fed and well entertained, happy and healthy. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye y'all. Forgot something for this video. One thing that you can do, oh, I mentioned um, spraying your yard. If you're spraying your yard, it's not the end of the world. Um, you might be able to find a neighbor or somebody who doesn't spray their yard um, and use the clippings from them. I would recommend not giving your chickens anything that's sprayed, obviously. Kind of defeats the whole purpose of having your own chickens, obviously. Um, so yeah, we don't spray our yard. We let it go probably two or three weeks um, in between cutting. So it really only benefits us for a little bit of time. But there are other areas of my yard that I let grow up and wild. <laughs> Um, and that gets pulled a little bit each day to supplement at least a little bit of feed. And that works incredibly well for me. Um, just pick a bunch for all the groups, all the coops, and all, all of that. Um, but another way that you can do this, um, like I said, mentioning with the neighbors or whatever, um, is just see if you can cut, cut people's grass. Say, um might suck but see if you can do it for free um and just make sure that you can take the clippings afterwards get a bag attached to your mower if you want um and get the clippings that way just guarantee that it hasn't been sprayed by anything and if that's the route that you want to go which i always advise against spraying anything so that's my stance on it but definitely see about something like that and see if you could do that um maybe get paid a little extra too so that's more money for you your chickens are happy and healthy um getting a bunch of treats and you are ultimately able to um cut back on feed bills and all of that so obviously any way that i that i can think to cut any bit of cost this is a very effective way is letting your grass grow out a little bit um we let ours grow way past what it should um and with the weather we've been having it's been incredibly thick which have been really blessed with that our grass this year has gotten significantly better than previous years um not really because of my maintenance but just because of different things so 
Um, anyways, that was just something that I thought to add on to the end of that video, or this video, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions or tips or anything like that, please leave them in the comment section below. I'll be sure to get back to you in a comment, or if it's something that warrants a greater response in a comment, and then make a uh, larger video, if that's what it warrants. So, thank you guys so much. There are so many other uses for grass clippings, but we'll go over all of that later on. So, thank you guys for watching this video, and I will see you guys in another one. Until then, y'all stay good, stay blessed, and yeah, do something. Uh, be 1% better than you were yesterday. Bye, y'all.